Okay, this is module 51. And now we're going to get into some more concepts about matrices. And then we're going to learn a third method, um, aside from gauss jardin elimination, and aside from the inverse uh, method, we'll learn a third method on how to solve systems of equations. So the first thing we're going to do is first find Go back one one step I don't know why this topic is in here it should have been in module 50 um, but this is going to go back to the inverse so let's go ahead and go through it just because um, we need to address this before we continue now remember what the identity of three by three looks like it's got that diagonal of ones right so let's make this guy one by taking negative one half row one. So we get one, negative one half, um, positive one, negative one half, zero, zero. Then we have, um, these rows are staying the same. The hardest part is making sure that you copy everything correctly, not necessarily the operators, but just making sure that you don't make any mistakes when you're writing things down. So my next job would be to use that one to eliminate this term to a zero, but it's already good to go, and then el eliminate this term to a zero. So in order to eliminate a one, we're going to need a negative one. So negative one times row one plus row two, and we're going to get rid of row two. So negative one times row one will give me negative one, positive half, negative one, positive half, zero, zero. And then row two is zero, negative one, three, zero, one, zero. And then um, let's see what we get when we add those together. So then my new row becomes Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to be doing row two. It was row three that I was trying to change, eliminate, right? So it should have been row three. So that was a big mistake, which means these values are all going to be different. Okay, let's try that again. So negative one times this to get this to turn to a zero. So one, negative one, two, zero, zero, one. 0, negative 1 half, 1, 1 half, 0, and 1. Okay, now job is to make the next diagonal a 1. So really all we need to do is change the sign of row 2. So negative 1 times row 2 to give me a new row 2. And then now to get this guy to turn to a zero, I'm going to have to do positive one half times row two plus row one to give me a new row one. And it just happens to be a coincidence that to make that guy a zero, I would also need a positive one half times row two, but now times row three to make this guy eliminated. So we're going to do both of those computations here. So one half of row two is going to be zero. 1 half, negative 3 halves, 0, negative 1 half, 0. And I'm going to do it twice because I'm going to have to do it again for this, this um, operation. So row 1 is 1, negative 1 half, 1, negative 1 half, 0, 0. Row 3 is 0, negative 1 half, 1, 1 half, 0, 1. So what do we get when we add these? We get 1, 0, negative 1 half, negative 1 half, negative 1 half, 0. Here we get 0, 0, 
negative one half, one half, negative one half, one. So let's make our new matrix. So row one is now here, right? One, zero, negative one half, negative one half, negative one half, zero. Row two stays exactly the same. And then row three is going to become this. And so then how do we change that in one? We multiply by the reciprocal. So negative two over one, or just negative two times row two to get a new row two. Or I'm sorry, row three. It's the bottom one we're trying to change to a one. So that means row one will stay the same. Row two will stay the same. And then row three will become positive one, negative one, positive one, and negative two. Now we need to change these two guys into zeros. So for the top one to become a zero, you need a positive half times row three plus row one. And for the middle guy to turn to zero, you're going to need a positive three times row three plus row two to give you a new middle row two. So let's do our computations. We get um, zero, zero, one half, negative one half, one half, negative one, and then row one goes underneath it. So one, zero, negative one half, negative one half, negative one half, zero. So we get one, zero, zero, negative one, zero, and negative one. Now here, so one, zero, zero, negative one, zero, negative one. Row three is gonna stay the same. And then the middle row I still have to do. So three times row three, zero, zero, three, negative three, three, negative six. Row two goes in underneath. Zero, negative one, zero. I get zero, one, zero, negative three, two, negative six. So now the left hand side is now the identity, which means A inverse is actually this matrix here. Negative one, zero, negative one, negative three, two, negative six, negative one, one, and negative two. So that is our final answer there. Okay, so that was kind of long and excruciating, but it was the same thing, same method, just a little bit longer to execute because it was a three by three instead of a two by two. And those will generally take longer to solve, okay? Um, so finding the determinant of a two by two, this is a new word, determinant, okay? And the way you calculate the determinant of a two by two matrix is you multiply going downward and then you multiply going upward okay now anything that's going from the top down in a diagonal is going to be plus and anything that is going upward in a diagonal is going to be minus so when i multiply one times two i get two and it's plus in front but when I multiply these two, I get negative 12, but because it's going in this direction, there's a minus in front. So what is two minus negative 12? Well, that's the same as two plus 12, which is the same as 24. So the determinant of this is 24. Let's do this one. So this goes downward. This one has to go upward. So you end up with three times zero, which is zero. And then negative two times four, which is negative eight, but you have to subtract these two things. So you actually end up with zero plus eight or just eight. So the determinant there is eight. It works the same if you have three by three. 
There's a problem though. I have to use every single one of these numbers in a column. And because it's a three by three, I have to have three people within every curve. So notice when I go this way, I do get three people in that diagonal. But if I go this way, I don't get three people. I have a missing spot here. And if I go this way, I'm gonna have two missing spots there, right? So there's an issue there. What goes in these missing spots? I'll tell you what goes in there. The first two columns get rewritten exactly as is. So I drew this a little too fat, but in this row should be zero, four, and negative four. And then one, negative four, and two. So when I'm drawing my columns or my arrows, it's going to be three in the diagonal here, three in this diagonal there, three in that diagonal there. And then you go the reverse in your, um, you can't go here because there's only two, but you can go here and here and here. And so that's where you're gonna get all of your values there. So let's see, multiply, 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 I'm gonna get zero plus Multiply, 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 I get positive four, plus multiply, 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 I get a negative 24. Now we move on to the green going upward. Minus, multiply, multiply, that's 16 times negative three, which is negative 48, minus, multiply, 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 you get zero, minus, multiply, 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 you get four. And what do I end up with in the end? I have zero plus four minus 24 plus 48 because of the double negative minus zero minus four. So these two guys kind of cancel. Negative 24 plus 48 is a positive 24. So the determinant there is positive 24. Let's try the next one. So we know it's a three by three. We don't have enough. So we're gonna rewrite the first two columns. Four. 4, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 6. And then do the same as before. Go downward, and then downward, and then downward. Then from this corner, going upward, and upward, and upward. So let's see, the ones in going downward is going to get multiplied, negative 12 plus that's going to be positive 16 plus zero, then now going upward, minus zero, minus um, a negative 48, minus a positive 48. So what do we end up with? We end up with negative 12 plus 16 plus zero, minus zero, plus 48, minus 48. So then these are going to cancel, they're going to cancel, and negative 12 plus 16 is 4. So the determinant there is 4. Now it tells us to use the inverse of a matrix to solve a 3x3 three three system of linear equations. Oh lord, this is one of them long ones where I have to do the inverse first. So this is going to take us a while. I'm actually going to come to this one at the end, just because I know it's going to take a really long time. Um, for now, because we just determined the, um, the determinants, we're going to use those determinants to learn a third method to solve systems, which is called Kramer's Rule. Okay. So let me stop this video here because it's already been kind of long, and we'll go over Kramer's Rule just a bit.